Hey everyone. Now uh, this video seems a bit spontaneous, but I had this for a couple of weeks now, and I wanted to show it in this video. And it's a review, as you can tell by the logo, on the box of something Doctor Who related. Now, you can probably tell from the shape of the box, it's a Doctor Who sonic screwdriver. Now this sonic screwdriver I've always wanted a decent replica of because I was never that happy with the character options prop well I say prop toy and it is a replica of the TV movie Paul McGann 8th Doctor sonic screwdriver now this replica is not metal it is 3D printed, but I think for the 3D print, it is really good. It, it does look metal on camera, at least to me it does. And I got it off Etsy, and um, it was like a spontaneous buy. I saw it, I saw the price, and I thought that is really good for the price. And yeah, it's really such a beautiful Sonic design has that really nice silver finish it has the gold um yellowy band on the handle there's a button there it's got the nice the black sections of the the, the handle it's got the nice bullet shaped red part of the top and it comes in this really gorgeous looking box um but yeah this sonic is easily one of my favourite designs. It's not my favourite Sonic Screwdriver design. But it's it's one of them. My favourite Sonic Screwdriver design will always be Matt Smith's. But this one is easy like top three. So yeah. if Just take it out. It's held in very securely. By these, these clasps. Now this screwdriver. Doesn't make sound admittedly. You can tell why that's off to the side in a minute. But it is a really nice design and um, really close to the movie as well. Like, But yeah, it doesn't make sound. But if you're going to do like a Doctor Who fan film or a little skit it, as your own Doctor or as um, Paul McGann's Doctor or even Sylvester McCoy. Because obviously he Sylvester McCoy uses it at the start of the movie when he locks the, the Master's box. The one that he puts the Master's remains in. Um... But it does have one feature that the movie Sonic does have. And that is, if you press this button, it extends like the one in the movie. And that is something I really wanted because that is a really cool feature the classic Sonic, well this classic Sonic had. Um, and yet it holds up really well and it feels really nice when you lock it back into place after. Now, in the movie... I'm holding my camera, so I can't really do it with my other hand. But in the movie, McGa the Doctor normally like smacks the top of the hand, the, the head, when it to click it back into place. But the seller said the head can be a little bit fragile, which I can kind of see why, because where it's held in is very slim. So what you're actually meant to do is pull it down like that, or at least that's how I do it. So, you know... Burr, 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 or whatever the noise it made in the movie. Um, and when you're done, you just do that and the button locks back into place. Now, now this is a comparison between the character options McGann and the one that I got off Etsy. And as you can see, like... Now, yep, yeah, my McGann character options is not in good condition. It's very chipped away and the paint's come off and doesn't look very nice. But, um, yeah, but regardless of that, I still think it's night and day. I still think this screwdriver looks infinitely better. It, even though they're both plastic, the quality of this one just feels a bit nicer to me. And it looks nicer. Like, from a distance, it actually looks like a piece of metal. At least to me. Like I said, if you don't think that, that's fine. But, yeah. And I would say, and also the prop is a bit the... One at the bottom is a bit more accurate to the film. It's a bit slimmer in design. Um, it's a bit slimmer in design than the character options one. Because obviously the character options one has the electronics. 
even but even the top ends as you can see aren't really like the same like the, the movie one is a bit more accurate and i think that is because they mostly just used the mold from the third doctor or fourth doctor sonic for them again but they just changed up the top half and the the bottom a little bit um but yeah which um and this was okay for the first couple of years i had it but I just think this is infinitely better, even if it doesn't have the sound. But the fact that it does have the the extending mechanism, I just think that makes it so much better. But you can see that the they're both roughly the same size, but the 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 one from Etsy just comes up a little bit higher. Please excuse the the mess at the back. But yeah, they're both um, they're both fairly the same size. But then if I take the this one and the size is a bit different. But I just, yeah, I just think the one that I got off Etsy is a bit more satisfying to look at. Obviously, the, the one off Etsy doesn't make the noise, but the character options one does. And obviously it does the typical, um, you know, the typical... But this Sonic does, I'll give this Sonic one thing, it does have the accurate sound from the TV movie in here. If you press the button down three times. That's the sound it makes in the movie. Although in Night of the Doctor it does pretty much make um, the generic sound. But like, yeah, if you're going to use this Sonic in a fan film or something, all you have to do is just simply add the FX over, which isn't that hard. And I think that's how they did it in the, the show anyway. So, yeah. But I, I really, really like this one. There's only one criticism I have. Even though I say, oh, it looks metal and all that stuff, you can kind of see the print line at the back. But... I don't really care. I think this looks really nice. And this is easily one of my favourite Sonics in my collection. Um, but yeah. I really, really love this screwdriver. And if you're a Doctor Who fan, especially of the classic era, such as myself, like, personally, I'm not overly fond of the new series. I, I Apart from Matt Smith, I love Matt Smith. But I'm more of a classic Doctor Who guy, like Tom Baker's my favorite doctor alongside matt smith and i love davison which isn't really relevant to this but even you can tell by the sonic paul mcgann is also one of my absolute favorite doctors for the love of god bbc just give him one more spin-off anyway sorry for the rant but yeah well speaking of a spin-off of, of a spin-off if imagine if they i mean it'd be nice to see this sonic screwdriver on screen more because i feel like this sonic is severely underused and it's a really cool design so uh, I'd love to see this design in the movies again. You know, like... And all that. It's such a cool design. And if you want one, go on Etsy. And I'll leave the... I'll leave the seller's details on a text right here. And that's who you can go to to get one. They're not really... It's not an expensive prop. You can get it with the... The extending spring. Or you can just get it static when it's open. But it's up to you. Um, I got the extending because that's what really sold me on the prop. And and here it is. And here it is next to my favourite Sonic screwdriver in Doctor Who. And also in my collection. Which is the, the Wand Company Matt Smith Sonic. Even though it's labelled as the 12th Doctors. But yeah. Like this Sonic is still my favourite. And I still love the fact that you can do the whole like... Um, you can flick it out on it, you know, like Matt Smith does. And it does work, but yeah. I love these Sonic screwdrivers. This is easily still my favourite one. And um, yeah, like this is my favourite screwdriver. My second favourite is the one that's used by Peter Capaldi, the, the blue one. Um, and then it's the TV movie. Um, we won't talk about the one that Shooty Gatwa is going to use in series... 14 no i didn't call it series one get over it but oh well or season one i should say but yeah um that was a quick little look at the uh this really cool 3d printed replica of paul mcgann's sonic from the doctor who movie 
a very underrated part of Doctor history in my opinion, but uh, that's a story for another time. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one.